Hey everyone, Emily with Bob's Watches. Today we're talking about some of our favorite Rolex Submariner nicknames and the different models that correspond with them. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our latest video content. Originally launched in 1953, the Rolex Submariner was one of the world's very first dive watches, and it is easily one of the most famous luxury timepieces ever created. Due to its high notoriety, the Submariner is a favorite among many collectors, and it has picked up a number of different nicknames over the years. The James Bond moniker is one of the oldest Submariner nicknames, dating all the way back to the 1960s, when a Rolex Submariner first appeared on the wrist of Sean Connery during the original 007 films. Technically speaking, the James Bond nickname only refers to the reference 6538, which was produced during the 1950s and is characterized by its oversized winding crown and lack of crown guards. Although the James Bond name frequently gets used for other vintage Submariner watches, it was a reference 6538 that was the specific model worn by Connery during the early James Bond films. Another incredibly popular Submariner nickname is the Kermit, which refers to the reference 16610 LV that was released in 2003 to celebrate the collection's 50th anniversary. Characterized by its black maxi dial and green aluminum bezel, the Kermit holds the distinction of being the first Submariner to feature the color green and its nickname comes from the famous green-colored Muppet Frog character. You will frequently hear the nicknames Red Line or Red Sub, and these refer to vintage reference 1680 watches that have their Submariner names printed in red letters. Rolex stopped using red text on the Submariner part of the way through the reference 1680s production run, and to this day, the red sub remains the last time that the color appeared on a watch from the Submariner collection. When the reference 116610 LV first appeared in 2010, it quickly picked up its now famous Hulk nickname due to its bright green dial, green ceramic bezel, and updated case with thicker lugs and crown guards. Just like the famous Marvel superhero, the Hulk Submariner is a bigger, bolder, and all-green version of its traditional counterpart. And since getting discontinued in 2020, it has quickly become one of the most collectible modern Submariner watches. Similar to the Hulk, the Smurf Submariner is based on Rolex's super case design, but features a bright blue dial and bezel, paired with a solid 18-karat white gold case and bracelet. The Smurf nickname comes from the watch's blue and white color profile, which bears a slight resemblance to the children's cartoon characters by the same name. While names like Hulk, Smurf, and Kermit all pertain to just one specific reference, the bluesy nickname can refer to any two-tone Submariner watch fitted with a blue dial and bezel. Curiously, the solid gold Submariner watches with blue dials and bezels are just as blue as their two-tone counterparts, yet it is the steel and gold models that go by the bluesy nickname. Unlike the standard production models, Milsubs feature sword-shaped hands, fully demarcated bezel inserts, cases with welded bars between the lugs, and dials with circled T insignias on them to denote the use of tritium. Lastly, there are some Submariner models whose nicknames are still up in the air, and it's important to remember that all Rolex nicknames, no matter how commonly used and ubiquitous they may be, are entirely unofficial. You won't find any nicknames listed on Rolex's site, Instead, they have simply been used by enough people for a long enough amount of time that they have become the collectively agreed upon titles for their specific watches. With that in mind, the newly released Submariner references that were just introduced in September 2020 have not been around long enough to the point where the industry has settled upon nicknames for them. For example, the reference 126610 LV with its black dial and green ceramic bezel is sometimes called the Sermit due to more or less being the ceramic bezel version of the Kermit. But other collectors call the watch the Starbucks due to its resemblance to the coffee company's logo. Similarly, the new 41 millimeter white gold Submariner with its black dial and blue bezel has received a number of different nicknames, including Cookie Monster, BMW, Sega, and Sonic the Hedgehog, just to name a few. Only time will tell what we ultimately end up calling these new Submariner watches, but you can guarantee that some of these nicknames will eventually stick and become their new unofficial titles. Rolex may not formally recognize any Submariner nicknames, but they are undeniably part of the vocabulary that surrounds Rolex watches, and they are undeniably a ton of fun for collectors and enthusiasts all over the globe. Thanks for watching our video on Rolex Submariner nicknames. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our latest video content.